we are not the cure for this. We've seen a, a double in our caseload. We will see a double in our caseload this year uh, of times we've given Narcan. We've got 58 this year already. We only did 58 last year. It's it's on the rise. Uh, from 2012 when we did 13 to uh, to now, well, we're going to do probably over 100, well over 100 this year. And it's, it's disturbing. A lot of people that we see do immediately recognize they have a problem and they immediately recognize that they need help. And we take them to the hospital, but a week, a couple months, however long down the road, we do still end up seeing those people again and again because either they didn't follow through with the treatment re uh, regime or it didn't work for them or they just needed more help. There's long waiting times to get into programs. Right. There's a limited amount of um, opportunities to get into programs right now. So that's what we're all looking towards as a, as a community is for more beds to help these people. We don't take people to the jail. We deliver them directly to the emergency rooms, and that's not the place for them either. They, they don't have the answer for them. They don't have a place to send them. It's what we do. We respond to, to calls. No matter what the call is, whether it's an opiate overdose or a cardiac event, it's what we do. And the state's privileged us with a, a drug that can counteract an opioid. And it's, it's you know, yeah, we have mixed emotions that knowing that we may see this person again, but in reality, we've saved a life, and that's all we need to look at. You know, we've, we've actually made a difference.